Bütün Amerikalılar biliyor oğlum yılın year demek olduğunu. Oh, uh, lots going on. He does he does look like cricket, like an always sunny in Philadelphia. Like he's aging like cricket did when he did the meth arc. Work, uh, a lot of assignments. So yeah. I was in the gym a week before, but I didn't see him. I try. I really try to go. You know, in the mornings now, um, just so I like you know got it over and done with, and then start my day. So. Or was it PCP? It was PCP, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you. So when you went to New York, was it a good trip? There, there were uh, obviously good times, you know, especially, uh, you know, with the with the kids connecting with her. But uh, you know, I've been through so much, you know. I lived there for a few months and never pronounced it right. You got it right first try right? because I'm from, because I'm also from the Netherlands. That's why. Darcy. Sorry. I, I felt so frustrated, you know. She kept lying, she kept manipulating, she kept making things up. You know, like all those things, it's just too much. I just can't keep up with this. Yeah, that's really like, difficult. You've got a history. You, you've met her children. You wanted to build a future with her. As much as I love her, as much as I care for her, I've, I've come to a point of realization that you can't change someone if she doesn't want to. Yeah, of course. It sounds like an unhealthy relationship to me because there is a lot of misunderstanding and wrong information and, and lying. And the most concerning for me is it's making him angry and sad as well. On Friday, I'm going to fly out and uh, I'm going to meet up with, uh, with Darcy in New York to say, hey, Darcy, you know, like, I love you and I try to be there for you. Um, but I'm not gonna keep up with this any longer. I'm out, you know? But I know cheaper ways to tell somebody. I just felt like I need to book that ticket. I'm gonna actually sit with her. Just FaceTime. Bro, he's literally, why is he riling? He's like riling himself up. He is personally... He, he's personally getting uh, into a frenzy. Like, he's just working himself up, dude. He hates her so much. Dude, imagine... Dude, imagine hating this woman that you're... <laughs> Look at his face. Just FaceTime. <laughs> just FaceTime. Imagine hating a person so much that when you think about her, even if you are 6,000 miles away, you work yourself into a fucking frenzy, an incel frenzy. God damn. I have never been so happy for fucking gun control in the Netherlands than this moment, dude. This guy is fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, just I, FaceTime I, and, and say to her, I'm done. Of course, just give her a phone call. I, I totally understand you. I felt that way. I but feel out of respect towards her, I'm going to be there personally for her. Does she expect to break up or does she expect just to see you in a makeup? I, I, I don't know. I actually feel scared because I don't know what to expect. But I have no, like, it leaves me no other option, you know? Yeah. My mistake has been that I kept holding on. In this point of her life, my life, I can no longer be in a relationship with Darcy. And now it's time to go and have that conversation with her. As a friend, my advice is don't come back with the same story. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. Just arrived in New York again. Beautiful sunny day. So uh, I'm ready to go. I flew back to New York to see Darcy. I haven't told Darcy exactly why I'm here, but I'm coming to have this serious talk with her and end this relationship. 
I'm not a man of like a phone call or a text message. It's not the man I am. It's not the integrity and respect. I a mistake, man. Instead, I'm not a phone call man. I'm a mistake, man. <laughs> Listen, dude. He's this dude is a clear and present danger to not just Darcy, but just women as a whole. Okay, and men too. He's just a, he's just a threat, dude. It's just, it's crazy. He was about to go get down on one knee to break up with her. He's coming back to break up with her and see her cry. I, I first of all, no, he's not. You guys are, you guys are fools. He's absolutely not. He's absolutely not going there to break up with her. That's for the camera, motherfucker. He's going there to be like, uh, I think we can make this happen. I stand for. So I need to end it in person. It's sad. But after the drama, lies, the manipulation, I realized this relationship cannot go on any longer. Darman, Hassan, and Asuelo team up to stop this man. And then when I was in Amsterdam, I found out, you know, something horrible about Darcy. When I heard about the incident, what? I was shocked. And that was just the nail in the coffin for me. That was it. What? What was it? What was the incident? It's going to be something literally fucking innocent, dude. Like, it's going to be something like, uh, like, like that she was victim to and he was, he's going to hate her for. They used anesthesia at the dentist and that's basically like alcohol. I cannot change the situation I'm in. The only thing I can do is walk away from it and pray that, you know, one day she will learn and she will grow from the things that she... She voted Democrat? He's done. More like Democrat? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've tried for one and a half years. There's only so much what I can do. Yo, motherfuckers, I've been trying with the fake tears, dude. He can't even... Huh. I don't know how Darcy will respond. Will there be anger? Will there be sadness? I don't know. But I just want to keep the conversation respectful. Okay, chat. You guys were making fun of me earlier, but like, come on. That hotel room, like, I it's for sex. I just hope that she will realize it's for the better. Like, have you never been in a hotel room bathroom, dude? Like, it's like kind of dark in there and shit. And the light hits different and you see yourself out of the shower and like, damn, I look fucking good. Hotel rooms are for sex, dude. 100%. They're just made for sex. Oh, By the way, absolute psychopathic behavior. I just have to point this out. Maybe it's a good sign. Wait. No. What, what the fuck? Why didn't it go backwards? Wait, this is a... Go back. I just got to point something out here. Like, just... Here's how you know motherfucker is psychopathic. Okay? And Watch. Let's see if you can fit. Let's see if you can uh, I don't see know, it. But I just want to keep the conversation respectful. Uh, I just hope that she will realize it's for the best. This guy went into a hotel room and the first thing he did was unpack, dude. I've never. That's no, no. You got to go. What are you a fucking serial killer, dude? Who does that? Like, how do you not just lay in that bed, first of all? Like, barely taking your shoes off. Instead, he's like, All right, it's time to unpack and hang up my clothes in the hangar. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. I have never... It doesn't matter how long the trip is. I've literally never been in a hotel for long enough to justify taking every piece of clothing out of it. And even if I was there for a long ass time, I still would not be able to do it. Okay. That's crazy, dude. 
I, maybe it's just me, but that is like weird ass behavior. You legit have a Northern Irish accent when you do that? No, I don't. Better. Also, yeah, also it's indicative of how long he thinks the, the conversation is going to take. Like, what, what do you, do you, do you plan on having like an anime style conversation where it's like goes across three fucking whole mangas? Like, like, uh, how, why, why do you have like eight different fucking articles of clothing for, uh, for just one combo? You know? I literally live out of my suitcase if I'm in a hotel. That's so weird. I just don't understand why he like. Oh, edits in New York. Nice. On my way to New York City to meet Jesse, he decided to come and take a trip to visit me. I couldn't meet him at the airport. Oh my God. On my way now. She is so, she's delusional too. to see him. It's been a little rocky, so it's tough to kind of gauge, you know, where our relationship is at right now. But he says he's coming in the name of love, and we'll soon find out. I'm going with an open heart. Voice of your redemption. Excited to see him. I love when sock accounts that are created just to fucking annoy me and just to shit on me, uh, called Hassan is Grift 2, which is obviously like, which is obviously a fucking sock account that was banned previously. Get so invested in the story that they're like, is she black? Like, motherfucker went from, hey, look, how's not be glorifying materialism again? Glorifies materialism instantly aggressive. Chat, what happened? Did she get drunk again? To, to, uh, is she black? You've never been in the military anyway. Yeah, what happened, dude? You, you forgot to change your accounts? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Goddamn grifting piker. Damn, it's been a while. We got a, we got, we got one of the, we got one of the gray names who just loves 90 day. He's like, he became a 90 day fan as a consequence of his, uh, hatred for me. I always get a little weak in the knees when I see Jesse. Have you even served? Fuck no, dude. I packed a lot of stuff because I wasn't quite sure exactly. In the words of, so was it Soldier Boy? I'd rather serve crack than serve this country. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't fucking served, dude. Are you crazy? Exactly what we were going to do, what was planned. I'm not quite sure how long I'm here for. He's just being very vague and it's just not like him. I mean, he wouldn't come all the way out here, I don't think. It was for ill intent. I know we care for each other. I just hope he, when he says he loves me, it's real. I, I sometimes second guess it. Oh, no. I don't know if he's meeting me at the train or I don't know. I'm waiting for where to. Bro, I, I, this is, this is a fucking, uh, ba this is from the chat, but yeah, you know, in Turkey, in order to not serve, you have to prove to the government that you're gay, right? That's like one way of getting out of uh, the mandatory military service. And they ask you to like literally get fucked in the ass and take a photo and like show it to a bunch of doctors. This is all real by the way. But, um, having the, uh, having the chat, Turkish people in the chat respond to my black nails with, are you gay, bro? Are you gay? All week has shown me that uh, you don't need to get fucked in the ass and uh, take a photo of it to prove that you're gay. All you need to do is show your black nails and they will believe you. They will say, oh, he must be gay, bro.
Can't you just do oil wrestling to prove it? No, then that backfires. They're like, oh my god, he must be straightest man. He must be most straight man. He's doing oil wrestling. Very straight sport. The most straight sport. <laughs> to meet him. Oh, from Jesse. Let's meet at Riverside Park at 72nd Street. Nice, quiet place outdoors. Amsterdam we are going to park. make you general. It was kind of like a sweet little thing that we used to do. He took me on his bike. We go to the park and stuff over there. So the last time he came to New York Central Park, so it's kind of nice that he. Yes, it does not count if you're the top. I think it used to count. It used to count if you're the top, but then they were like, "No, it's not gay if you are top. You can be straight and top, dudes." Yeah, you have to get fucked in the ass. You have to be a bottom. Yeah. I like to think that all the doctors and the medical professionals that came up with this insanely fucking this psychotic uh, idea were all just gay and wanted to jerk off to a bunch of, you know, uh, personally made pornography. You know, listen, there's porn is illegal in Turkey. It's banned. So you got to do what you got to do. I drew titties. Maybe some doctors, they just want to fucking... They just want an endless sea of gay porn to watch and look at. What is this? Did you show them this? What the fuck is this? No, I did not show them this. This? Homosil. <laughs> I just go to just chatting for my porn. You laugh, but like, that's not even a joke. Yes. Go to any just chatting. Go to any hot tub stream. Go to any hot tub stream. And the entire chat will be, go to any hot tub stream and say, Turkvarma. And you will be, you will be met with friendly Turkish coomers, a sea of Turks. Okay. Straight up. There's no, there is, they don't have VPNs and shit. So some of them don't. So they just watch hot tub streamers. He's planning it. Amaranth has Turkvarma on auto mod. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? No way, dude. Why are you such a self-hating Turk? What do you mean? I fucking love... I love Turkish people, dude. Oh, shut up. Is that for real? I gotta... I gotta test this. Is Amaranth live right now? Oh, she's not. Wait. I can still write it, right? And it might get auto-modded in her. Let's see. Amaranth. What the fuck? Don't be a jerk. Lurk with hands off keyboard if you're going to hate. Extended rules at the bottom of the page. No, it didn't work. I, I can say it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just got auto modded. Oh, wow. Amrant, you are no longer Turkish. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Omrant, why are you doing this? I want to know if other Turk in chat. You bend me? <laughs> Everyone's getting popped off, dude. Wait, this guy is getting... He got away with it. No, this has got to be a rogue mod in there right now. Just banning people personally. Right? I don't think I've ever gotten banned, so I don't even fucking know how that... Oh, we're on, do you have two yul? That's crazy.
maybe it's a good sign. Maybe I'm getting swept off my feet now. I don't know. I just arrived in New York and today <laughs> Turkeys. I'm finally breaking up with Darcy. I do not want to be involved with her any longer. This was a last minute trip. She doesn't know why I'm coming. But I think it's really important to have a breakup conversation in person and not do that via text message. We're going to meet at Riverside Park because it's a calm place. I have mixed emotions. In the last couple I do like that jacket, dude. That's days, a good jacket. I was contemplating if Straight I made up. the right decision. But I made a discovery when I was back in Amsterdam, which made it even more. I hate it. Just fucking say what the discovery is, more dude. Clear to me. There was something Darcy got caught up in that really confirmed my worst fear about her. Did she go I'm to the here in New York City to see Jesse? He's here in the name of love, supposedly. So, um, about to meet him. Bro, you are traveling from Connecticut to New York. Why do you have like why do you have three bags, dude? That's crazy. You're traveling from Connecticut to New York to get broken up with. You you took the train with three bags on you. He's here in the name of love, supposedly. So, um, about to meet him at the park and see where we stand. I'm grateful he's spending money to come out here. It's nice of him, you know, but the way this relationship is, is has been going, I don't know exactly why he's here. I just hope it's working out. Bro, she out. is horny, horny, dude. That sucks. I feel bad for her. I just don't know where I stand in the relationship. I feel like we don't have enough time with each other to really understand where we're truly at in our lives because he's doing his thing in Amsterdam. I'm home with the kids, doing do my thing. I feel like we've... We feel separate. It doesn't feel like we were in the beginning. Oh. It hurts because it hasn't been a healthy relationship at times, so. <sighs> but maybe this is a chance for us to save our love. Show the yeah. rag. Ew, dude. There is love there. Fucking freak. It's not been an easy journey, and um, I'm uh, sad that this story has to end this way. Thank you. I don't know what's gonna happen. Something's starting not to feel right, but. I'll just know. My gut is saying, just go and feel it out, and you will know. You will have the answer. <sighs> oh, my Lord. No, you won't, dude. No, you won't. Okay, I'm so invested. Okay, there's like, oh, my God, there's a lot more episodes. Okay, I want to fucking pause it and, like, get to Resident Evil, but, like, I'm so invested. I got to see this through. Like, I... I, I 
Is there a five minute recap? Dog, it's 90 Day Fiance. They do like. They have more recaps than a fucking filler episode, dude. I am in New York. Every episode has a recap and baked I into am it. I'm here to break up with Darcy. I reached my limits with this relationship. And when I was in Amsterdam, I made a discovery about Darcy, you know, something horrible. I knew for sure this is something I do not want to be involved anymore. I'm kind of confused on why we're meeting, but my gut saying he wouldn't have come all this way if he didn't truly love me. I'm ready to see him face to face, and I'll know instantly if he really came for me and for, for love. Don't worry, you don't need your gut to find out about that because if he actually follows through, he's just gonna be like, Darcy, I'm breaking up with you. Hey, baby. Hello. Hi. How are you? Okay. Yeah? What a beautiful dress you're wearing. Thank you. Work for you. Wow. How are you? I'm doing well, yeah. I'm happy to see you. So I didn't yeah. know how long I was staying, so I just brought the bag and yeah. some different shoe options and Okay. Oh my god, that's so terrible. Bro, he's gonna break out with her and then she's gonna have to lug that back to Connecticut. She doesn't even have a hotel room, dude. <laughs> you weren't cold? Freezing. Yeah. Do you want to go to the hotel first and bring the stuff? Oh, I didn't know. Is that the plan? No, let's get an Uber. Let's get inside. Yeah. Your eyes look amazing. Oh my God. Thank you. Yours too. Thank you. Shall we do that? All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Don't cry. Oh, sweetie. Oh, this is so bad, dude. Oh my god. Yo, she is down worse than me, dude. And I have a fucking anime body pillow now. Like, god damn, dude. This shit makes me look normal, dude. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck, dude. Abysmal. Yes, I'm going to play Resident Evil after this is over. Don't worry. I'm going to finish it tonight. I'm going to finish Resident Evil Village tonight. Well, I'm so excited coming, for yeah? it. But... So you can don't have to be cool, all right? You guys haven't seen my anime body Jesse pillow? Hold on. In the park sure. And now he wants to go to the hotel. The whole situation. Very strange. Something's off. He's just not quite sure where his headspace is right now. I haven't seen you in a while. I wasn't sure how it's going to feel. I just came here for you. I mean, did you come here for me? Not quite sure. Actually, I wanted to talk about my relationship. That's what I'm here for. I don't want any drama. Don't want any turmoil. Of course. We obviously have a lot of issues we need to work on, but I just... Darcy, you need to take ownership and responsibility for what you're going through right now. Like, yeah, like you need help. What are you talking about? She's already starting. You know, I'm not even going to waste my energy and waste my time in having a mature conversation. It's not even possible. I'm not going to argue, you know? Trust me. Darcy. I can't take up with your lies, deceitment, and manipulation anymore. What lies? Um, what manipulation? What manipulation? What lies? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jesse. Oh. Get it out, honey. How many That's why days? You came. How many days do you have to go to jail now? What do you mean? I don't have to go to jail. What's the problem? Oh, why really? are you even talking like that? Police reports are on the internet. Darcy. I have no clue what you're talking yeah. about. Oh my gosh! You got a DUI. I found out. Oh my God! Through social media, she got arrested the other day for hitting her sister. 
Darcy tries to lie about it, it just just like shows again like how I would not want to be a part of that. Why are you talking about my family right I'm now? I'm not talking about your well, family. Why I thought this was about you, us. Hey, you, you are oh my god. Excuse me? Yes. He's trying to make things a problem in my life that aren't a problem. My sister and I, we had gotten in a fight that spiraled out of control. But now everything's fine. We're good. You know, we made up. It was just an argument and we're good now. I don't need to explain anything to him. This is the it's other my side. Family, not his. So he needs to back off. You are you are home. about drama. I am not about you drama. Are about what are you talking about? about? I'm not about the semen. Is this Kakegurui, by the way? I don't even know what it is. Is it? There you go. <laughs> it's so weird. Why did I do that? That's so strange. I feel like a kid again. Where, uh, you know, when you would like fucking kiss your elbow to learn how to kiss your elbow to learn how to fucking make out. <laughs> what, what, what anime is this? I, I don't even know what anime it is from. It's zero from two, darling. Darling in the Franks. What the fuck is that? What is, is that a mecha anime? It's like the most trash shit, really. Ugh. It's a sex mecca, shitty Evangelion. Oh, okay. I don't have to tell you Can about things in my scar, life when we're not even getting. Can I get out of this car? Getting along. Yeah, I'd rather get just... out the car and he could stay. I, this is his, his already. Trip. I'll go back to the I want to get out right now. This no, I want to get out right you now. You bought this I'm on your go. own? No, I did go. not. I wish I never got on that train in Connecticut. I thought I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. But he didn't come here for, in the name of love. He came here to end things. I want to get away from her because she is like next level crazy. Wow, so, really? Uh, yeah. Really? More. Because I don't want to talk about personal matters? If you don't get therapy matters? for your really? alcoholism. What alcoholism? Your, how long what do you want to hide problems? You? How yeah, long? Yeah, you need to go. I, I understand why you came now. You came here No, for your I did own not came. I came here yeah. out of respect and integrity. Can out you guys of love. drop my bags off at the hotel, please? Yeah, keep drinking, Darcy. Really? I don't Hide drink. Hide problems. Any. Really? Yeah, really get arrested call one more time. Out, Jesse. I came here out of love. Call yourself out. I came here out of love? What do you mean, motherfucker? You literally flew out to just say, I'm breaking up with you because you got arrested. Dude, this dude is getting. I mean, I don't know if you can get a lower rating than zero but that is the worst uber ride dude why does he have to go through this whole trouble of coming here just to like belittle me get some therapy girl get some therapy you girl somebody like that that you say that you love so what happened like so she beat her sister that's kind of wild Maybe she is abusive. Maybe we were being wrong towards Jesse this entire... I mean, no, Jesse's still a fucking asshole. But, like, I wonder if uh, she was actually being abusive towards Jesse now. You know what I mean? He's so cold. Yeah, what if she actually threw the shoe? What if she actually threw the shoe? And almost hit Jesse in the face? Why did I even come? Unbelievable. I can't believe I came for all this crap. This is unbelievable. The truth hurts, right? You don't love me. You never did. You liar. You liar. Get out of my life. Oh, dude, let's do it. All the details behind the Darcy and Stacy's arrest. TLC twin sisters Darcy and Stacy Silva from 90 Day Fiance were reportedly arrested. Wait, they were arrested together? The spinoff gave fans a glimpse of their affection and twin tuition. What the fuck? They got their own show? Yo, TLC's crazy. It's like you do one fucking show, they give you like three more.
Darcy made two of her back to back relationships public on that. What? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. This is the fucking spoilers, dad. No, there's spoilers. No. Oh my God. I am such a neck beer, dude. I will literally never get laid ever for the rest of my life. I'm screeching about TLC spoilers as I clutch my body pillow. This is what has happened to me. Twitch has ruined my life, dude. Literally fucking ruined my life. Real, true life. I'm addicted to my body pillow. Women will only splush as you do this. No, I don't think that there is any, there is no part in. I'm sorry to say this, but no one is attractive enough to be able to justify clutching a body pillow as you scream about uh, ruining spoilers in a fucking uh, TLC reality TV show, okay? Bro, if you need to get laid, like, no joke at this point. I literally described it to my wife as this guy was pretty cool and slowly became a complete loser in his room for us to watch. That's fucked up, dude. That hurts. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Oh, God. It's so real. I just need to, like, breathe for a minute. I just walked away from Jesse. I don't know how things got so nasty and bad. This morning, Jesse flew in from Amsterdam. I thought he was coming here in the name of love, but I was very wrong. I feel emotionally taken advantage of. It doesn't feel like he came here for love. It feels like he came here to break up just it's not true that was, was actually mean thinking, i guess thinking he'd be all sweet and romantic and you know baby i'm here for you no matter what like that just traveled hours to get here for this can't go home with this energy on me Not all right. I love how Bernie's in the back silently judging. Oh, God. Dude, sometimes in life you make fucking choices. Okay, I'm posting this. This is really good. Sometimes in life you make choices and some of them are good. Some of them are not good. I'm saying which way, Western man? No. I don't want the kids to sense that. You know, they're going to know something's up. If I go back now, then they're going to know something's up bad. Yeah, Juice sent me the body pillow. I got the juice, dude. I didn't want to say because that actually makes me sound a lot cooler. Oh, now, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Now you hosmod me. A fucking minute ago, you were making fun of me for. Hugging a body pillow, but all of a sudden now you're like, oh, Hosmod's girl sends him a body pillow. <laughs> yeah, there you go, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Okay. Immersion ruined. As a chatter that lives in Cherry Hill, I just want to say, goddamn, at least some of us don't need body pillows. Okay, fuck you, dude.
Hassan, the body pillow is a coping mechanism for dealing with the narrative twist of 90 Day Fiance is not a good look. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, listen, that might not be a good look, but... This absolute stunner just made this tweet last night. What is this? I have two and only two people's tweet notifications on Hassan the Hun, so he will eventually marry me one day, and Maze is big sexy. Before anyone gets mad, I'm not here to endorse Hassan's politics. I just, I mean, just look at him. Law student Camilla, Cobra enthusiast, ACAP, Suffolk TSA, she, her, Ella, to DM me and CQ selfies of me. Click the fan house link. Wait, why would people be like, yo, fuck his politics? What do you mean? Dude, this is what I'm saying. I'm not like left enough for people. This is crazy. Okay, well, there's only... Or I'm gonna like it. Okay, there it is. Even though she's calling me a... She's calling me a lib. Um, listen... Listen, there's a, there's a certainty here that, uh, you guys are unaware of. Okay. And that certainty is that it is the top of the hour. And what that means is there's going to be a 60 second ad break coming to you, a contractual obligation. Now, if you'd like to no longer see said ads, there's a couple things you can do. You can, you being called the lib by ladies. Yeah. A couple things you can do. Okay. You can subscribe uh, with a $5 subscription. You can subscribe with a free subscription. Okay. Now you might be asking yourself, how do I get a free one? Well, that's uh, by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime sub a month. You can use it on your favorite streamer. Or you can use it on me. But here's the ad break. Now, more 90 Day Fiance in a second. Um... I made the meme on screen in Discord. You can nuke me now. No, it's a good meme. I already posted it on Twitter. She has your bulge pick saved. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who does? How is it that every... Oh, that's not my bulge pick. That's just like I'm shirtless in it. Fuck, I wish I looked like this still. I don't look like this anymore, boys. Come on, let's be real. I'm fucking fat now. Run them ads, bitch. I already did. I think there's bulge in it. It is if you have the whole photo. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. I'm uh, sad, of course, that it had to end this way. But despite everything, I don't want... Is he smoking a cigar, dude? Like, he went and he bought a fucking... I don't black and mild ass one. dude. It's like one fucking step removed from a black and mild. He's got like, it's like a little bit, uh, thicker than that. God, he's Her the worst. Travel back to Connecticut in the state that she's in. So I sent uh, Darcy a text saying like, Darcy, you can stay here. You can have my room. Um, Darcy, are you okay? My man said Dutch are evil out the womb. <laughs> no, this guy I, is not I a good representation of the Dutch. It's too late to travel right now. I'm just I know, and that, shot. I'm shot right now, so... Just... And that's why I'm saying... Yeah, no, you. there's definitely not public transportation between Connecticut and New York uh, after 6 p.m. Everybody knows this. You know, a after the business day is over, you just can't find your way back to Connecticut from New York. It's kind of the whole purpose of the state, but hey, who knows? Right now, you can use my room and here, I got the key already. I can help you get your bags upstairs and, you know, 
Because I don't want to argue, I don't want to fight, um, I just want to like... That's why I walked away. Okay, well... Um, anyway. I'm bringing your bags upstairs and, uh, all right? Just out of love. Yeah, just like just out of love, I've come to America to break up with you. He's trying to control mostly everything. Out of love, of course. But he's he's not gonna control. Just out this of breakup. love. I need to stand up for myself. Yeah, look what you made me do, and Andy. I just I I want closure. I just want closure and be done. Am I staying here or yeah. you? I just brought your bags here. Great. Okay. Hotel rooms are made for sex, boys, and that's this is you know this is how you know. I'm gonna have some fun in New York City. I'm not gonna let this get me down. Okay. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't know. You're what confused. It, I'm, you I'm don't saying, remember what I'm happened saying, in the car. I'm saying to you that. Jesse, I know Gosh, why like, you came here. I know, I know you do why not you know. Came here. I I just want to have a like I can never have a good conversation with really? you. Really? I can't really have a good why, conversation why, with you why? because Dude, why is he acting like the conversation was ever going to be good? Like the conversation was literally I am breaking up with you and that's why I came all the way to New York. That's not a good conversation. That's a bad conversation. There's no way to have a good conversation there. It's just so weird. You're constantly judging me. No, I'm not. not. How am I judging you? Yes, you that you have a drinking problem. You. I don't have is a drinking being affected problem. by me. Really? That's Do you remember funny. what happened to Guess Connecticut? What? The shoes you threw at me? What shoes? No, I didn't throw remember? any shoes. Yes, no, you I did. did. You shoved me up the You did because I got a trauma from that. Why in Connecticut. Did you throw you, you did throw them at me. You shoved me. You threw them at my head. No, I didn't. Okay, now I feel like he literally got. He was salivating when he found out about the the arrest charge because he's like. I cannot use this to justify that uh, I was assaulted. Are you kidding me? Your God is going to strike you. I swear to God, because you know what? You're a liar. Your God is going to strike you. It's just like, like what? So much craziness. Like, it's very traumatic, actually. Wow. It's a very unhealthy relationship, and I'm glad it's over. You never loved me. This is a joke. Bro, how wow. is the relationship over? Lion. You're Darcy in his hotel room. Minutes, and I'm out. Why did you have me come to New York to do this to me? No, uh, you should have just called me on the Darcy, phone. I wish you all the best. You're just nasty all the time. Just want to make you look nasty. like a bad person. I, I don't do anything to you, and you really? act like you all innocent and victim. All right? All right, I'll see you, I'll see you in another life. Bye. Go, go, go yeah. demean the next I, woman I in line. I am mad at you. I am mad at you. Go mingle. Go have some drinks again. Ew. Yeah. Off. I. I'm done. I'm tired of feeling like. You know. Ridiculed and just. It's awful. All right, Darcy. Bye bye. I wish you all the best. This is like next level. No, you know. Why is PewDiePie yelling? <laughs> I'm just walking away. <sighs> A lot of this is just because she didn't let him be the steak man. I'm the steak man, Darcy. <laughs> So I ended up booking uh, another room in the same hotel. Oh my God. I wanted to do it differently. I wanted to do it with all respect and love. I care for her. I know like it's very hard and difficult, but um, there's nothing I can do about it, you know?
Not a bro, I think he really wanted some coochie. Like, ultimately, I think he really wanted some fucking... He just wanted to sex it up a little bit. Punching bag. I just want to... Forget it. Just let it go. Move on. It's just the... Uh... What I want in a man, I deserve better. <laughs> My kids deserve to see me happy with in a relationship, not turmoil and confusion and heartache and scared. I'm kind of scared. I just don't know how to leave. Cause I think we do love each other, but it's that's not love. That's that's not love. I don't know what that is. I'm heading back to Amsterdam. I have mixed emotions, like uh, a piece of my heart is here. You know, it's kind of crazy that we never found out about what the original uh, relationship, how the original relationship ended. Yesterday was really tough and I already ran the top of the hour ad, my friend. It was a really bad day. That was a really awful day. <laughs> I'm hurt and heartbroken because I really gave it. I really gave it a chance and I really loved him. Last night, I don't think either of us wanted to be alone. He called and he wanted to come to the room. And check oh my God, they fucked. Was. Didn't knock, just came in. You know, I was quiet, I was sitting in the chair. And, um, you know, we got intimate. You know, I kind of had that vibe, like a, like makeup sex maybe, you know? I wasn't oh. really sure how to gauge it. Kind of cuddled and did it again. But I don't think we should have done what we did. Look at his, I went oh my to God. her room. The door was open. And uh, she was there on the floor. And I was like, my God. I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then she was like, uh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I can't live without you. You know, I, I have feelings too. So when I see her laying on the ground, I'm like, Man, this girl's hurt. This girl needs, like, you know, help. This girl needs support. So I stayed with her, comforted her, until she was okay. Did you have sex with Darcy last night? No. <laughs> what? No, I had my own hotel room. I left in the middle of the night because I don't know, I was. Bro, this is terrible. Oh my God. I had to put the body pillow away. I don't want her seeing this, okay? Look at his face. He's like, oh, did I? I can't remember. Oh, no, of course not. It was like 1 a.m. or something. She fell asleep. I left. She wanted to have sex, but I did not want that. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. I'm not here for friends with benefits. I just need to completely close myself off and not engage in that anymore because it's too emotional for me and it's too up and down and he won't even tell me when he's leaving. I mean, who does that? I mean, she she kind of is like bringing it upon herself at this point though. Like, come on, dude. You're going to really throw the coochie around like that? Like, what, what are you doing? You're just going to fucking... You're going to give it to him like that? That's crazy. That's crazy. You just gotta, you gotta keep that shit to yourself, dude. Don't reward this motherfucker. He's, he's not good. Victim blaming again. I mean, come on, dude. Come on, dude. He's literally mentally abusing her. 
I mean, he is, but like, fucking have some strength. You know, believe in yourself. God damn. I know. I know she's a victim, but like. Fuck. Let her have some dick. It's not about what he gets. You gotta, you gotta get away from this guy, man. That's not how any of this works. Bad fucking take, bad fucking take. That's not how abuse works, dude. That's not how this fucking works. Super bad take, my dude. My dad works with abusers. This is the exact wrong reaction. Okay, well, good thing she can't hear me, okay? Everybody who's, like, losing their fucking minds uh, right now, calm down. It is a reality TV show. Okay, across the board, regardless of uh, their their background, regardless of what they're how they're feeling currently, they still literally signed up to fucking shoot and uh, and basically exploit their uh, broken home for monetary benefits. So that goes to show what their mentality is, regardless. Uh, but uh, having said that, I understand. Super bad take, dude. Not because I think it's a bad take, but because I stand with Twitch chat. Just believe in yourself, forehead. The abuse will stop if you believe. Listen. This dude... <laughs> their dad works with abusers. Just move on. <laughs> That was actually that was actually one of my favorite lines. It's better than my uncle works at Nintendo, dude. Sorry, bad take, dude. My dad works with abusers, dude. Like, I'm the foremost authority in this Twitch chat. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, dude. My <laughs> bad take, my guy. Really bad take, dude really get to say goodbye. The woman who fucked a weird personal trainer from Amsterdam may not hear your comments, or your friends who fucked a weird personal trainer from Amsterdam will. <laughs> Sit. I can breathe again, you know? Like, I, I feel such a relief that it's just overwhelming. I think, you know, after all the hurt and after all the, you know, lies, I don't think I will um, miss her. Why is this guy so weirdly patriotic? He's a Amerabu, dude. That's the fucking mistake right there. Never trust Amerabus, even Turkish ones, okay? Don't do it. I wish uh, Darcy uh, love. I wish her peace of mind. I, I just, you know, pray uh, for the best for her. I mean, I'll always play care for him, but I just feel like I need to close it off to have complete closure and um, peace. Home. I, you know, just want to be with my daughters. I've seen it all Can't feel it I really wish that things went different. I mean, you know, next time I'll see the red flags. I took a major risk. For <laughs> I love. do think she took the free shit in the room, yes. <laughs> 